at the end of last issue, the Amboom got released. And between the issues, our heroes, or at least some of them, got captured. They are chained and brought before the Emperor. But the ones threatening are the Amboom. They are charged with treason, attempted attack on Sombra, and injuring Empress Hope. Twilight interferes. Hope doesn't want to be an Empress, but she has been unconscious since the attack. Cadence is also accused of brainwashing Hope. They can lighten their sentence if they reveal the location of the rebels. Of course they refuse. But the villains have one last resort for pressure. And bring out Shining Armor. And with the threat of turning him to stone, Cadence gives in and gives them the location. But even then, they demonstrate power and turn Shiny into stone anyway. Next would be the princesses themselves. But they stall when convincing them it would be smart to petrify them publicly. At the Crystal Days. That would end to evolution. They bought time. In that time, Sombra meets up with the now awake Hope. But she seems upset. There's no end in sight. She trusted in Sombra, but she just keeps planning more. She can't see the Sombra who was her friend all those years ago. He is set on the fact that this was his destiny, because the Crystal Heart showed it to him. But no, it can't be. Hope saw herself as a princess, but she didn't end up as one. Sombra thinks he robbed her of the destiny. But that's not the lesson here. The lesson is that you make your own destiny. And she chose him over being a princess. They step outside the castle and immediately get stopped by two Umbrim, who inform them of current events when suddenly a cannonball hits one of them. The rebels are attacking and the fight begins. The pies and cakes go in with cannon fire, while Rarity and family hit him with fabulousness. The apples tie some up while the CMC go in with an apple firing tank unit. Fluttershy contributes through calling the Lord of Chaos. He doesn't help himself, but he turns the critters very helpful. The Pegasus Brigade goes in, but gets swatted down quickly. The Shadow Ponies are fighting back and want to quickly remove the princesses from the equation. But Hope stops them. She distracts them with the Crystal Heart. That's what they need to destroy, not the princesses. But Sombra is conflicted about it. Is that what he really wants? On the fight scene, the shadows are too strong. One after another, our heroes get taken out. Rarity's group gets overwhelmed. AJ's group gets snake bites. The CMC's shots get directed back at them. It doesn't look good for the ponies, but it's not over. Somewhere's looking into the heart. And other than back then, it doesn't show him as a monster. But only his reflection. He is right where he needs to be and doesn't need to follow any destiny. He has chosen and puts the crystal heart back to where it belongs, making his own destiny. The power of the heart and Radiant Hope's faith was all that was needed. The heart is the seal on the prison of the Umbrim, and its power pulls them back to where they came from. Only Sombra remains, and he has learned. He became a hero, and they finally got to see the crystal fair together. Now, it's Sombra's turn to go. But no, Hope won't let him. She won't lose him again and she has the princesses on her side. Together, they are able to stop the pull and reveal some worst true form. He is reformed. He doesn't know what to say, but he doesn't have to. He has redeemed himself. He plans to do even more good. Princess Amora. He turned her to stone and sheltered her all these years ago. But if they could gather the pieces, they could bring her back. Long ago, there was a lone pony who wanted a friend. Then. He found the most amazing one he could wish for. They loved each other. He didn't love himself. He thought he was a monster. But her friendship saw through his worries. She saw the goodness in him. And it became true. And with that, some words were formed. And the story is over. And sadly, there won't be a sequel where they actually revive Princess Amore. Because this entire story has been retconned. By some words appearance in season 9. It's still an amazing story though. And his backstory with the Umbrum would still work, just not his reformation. Seeing a Sombra other than the one from the Mirror World getting some development is great. He left his past and moved on, and is a prime example that you should give people another chance, even if they did something bad in the past. People can always change. They even gave the Umbrum a chance, but they abused it. I would have loved to see a spin-off in which we see them reviving Princess Amore. It would have opened the opportunity to learn more about Caden's past too. But it's sadly impossible by now. But I'm sure there are fan fictions out there for that kind of thing. I know that Hope is a fan favorite. Seeing the couple of Sombra and Hope roam the lands is an amazing thought. Especially because Hope was the key to the story. 
She was the one who made the reformation possible. She was the one who brought him back in the first place. But what do you think? Did Samba get proper development? What do you think of his relationship with Hope? Would you have liked to see some more of Caden's backstory? Are the Amun good villains in your opinion? I know I'm asking a lot of questions, but I'm curious. Let me know, join my Discord if you want to discuss some more. Thanks to my patrons, especially to my Vic, and until next time for the bonus, bonifalas, and bye.